the negatives of global warming, but the changing climate could open up new farming possibilities in our own backyard. Our weather is becoming more suitable for tropical fruits, more commonly grown in Southern California. Kelsey Thord introduces us to one Bay Area man who's experimenting with crops you wouldn't think would thrive here. You know, you couldn't ask for a more lush color and a luxuriant shiny leaf to cheer you up on a hot day. Gary Gragg is obsessed with tropical plants. He has been since he was a kid. I didn't really get on a plane and go anywhere like that until I was about 14 or 15. So I always had this fantasy of the jungle. Gary fell in love with tropical fruits like avocados and mangoes during a trip to Mexico. It was there he says he first got the idea to try and plant the fruits in his hometown of Lafayette. And I knew you weren't supposed to bring any seeds back or anything from Mexico, but I smuggled that little seed back and I was only 13 years old. I planted my mom's backyard, kind of forgot about it. And then boom, it popped up and it was the cutest little thing. Gary says that first plant didn't survive long. Back then, the Bay Area would still get significant freezes in the winter. But over the decades, climate change has altered that. Fast forward to today, and Gary is growing avocados and even some mangoes across the Bay. He's the president of a nursery that specializes in tropical plants and believes that these fruits will soon become one of the area's biggest crops as temperatures continue to rise. It's going to become too hot in Southern California, I think, in 20, 30, 50 years, depending upon how global warming plays out, how quickly things happen. It's going to become too hot down there. And that the solid zone, the commercial zone, will really be in mid, like mid to northern California in select areas. Gary says several farmers have already reached out to him to discuss replacing their current crop with avocados. He says right now many are still in the experimental stage, but could soon start planting thousands of the trees. It's one way, Gary says, the area can adapt and take advantage of global warming rather than just fear it. And that's what it's all about. I mean, humans are pretty good at adapting. We have a new condition coming. We just need to look around, figure out how can we best adapt to it because it's coming like a freight train, whether you like it or not. Eventually, Gary envisions a future where avocado groves will be seen all over the Bay. It's something that as a kid, he never imagined would be possible, but something that he really believes can help area farmers survive such a changing climate. Some California crops are vulnerable to climate change, such as walnuts and pistachios. UC Davis researchers are trying to make those more resilient by selectively breeding them to tolerant drought and heat.